who invited them? Simon, can't you do something about this? Like, ban them? On what grounds? Dress regulations. Unfortunately, you've already set the benchmark. <laughs> What's wrong with how I dress? Oh, hey, you made it. You look gorgeous. And who's the chick? She can't be going out with him, can she? He's so... Uh, mediocre. I think he's kind of cute. I need a drink. What are we doing here? You'd rather stay at home crying to your kebab. Mate, check out all these girls. I what Karen's doing. All right. New rule. No more of the K word. Hmm? Put K right out of your mind. Oh. Hey, should be joining us. Are you kidding? Then we'd have to share first prize. <laughs> yeah, oh, right. You boys think you really got a chance of winning? Mate, Stu here. Mine like a steel trap, OK? Well, my girlfriend's a lot better at this than I am, though. OK, folks. <clears throat> Listen up, please. Tonight, there will be two rounds of 15 questions each. During the breaks, feel free to spend up big at the bar. First prize <laughs> is a slab of your choice! You're with a trivia master. We hey. better not lose to those bastards. Don't worry, mate. We're not going to lose. Question one. How many Arabian Knights were there? Too easy. Oh. 101. No, that's Dalmatians. Oh. It's 40. Lose? What? How many Arabian Knights? It is. and one. Because in those days, no, everything was in groups of 40s. Jesus got lost in the desert for 40 days and 40 nights. Noah was floating on his ark for 40 days and 40 nights. It's Arabian nights, not Bible nights. It's 40, trust me. What disease is caused by ingestion of the Trichinella spiralis parasite? What are you going to ask your summon on sport? <laughs> Trichinosis, T-R-I-C-H-I-N-O-S-I-S. On you, Lucy. <laughs> Glad you came. Look at her. Cat killer. She's so smug. I should go over. No way. They rejected your olive branch. Mm. Forget about it. Last question for the round and for the night. How many Dalai Lamas have there been? If you say 40, I will punch you. I wanted to say how sorry I am about what happened to your cat. His name's Orlando. I know we've had heated words exchanged between us. Like you threatening to kill him. I hadn't had any sleep when I said that. And he'd just done his business on my doona. I tried to see you earlier today. I bought you some flowers and a card. Your flatmate didn't tell you. No. I know this is going to sound really silly, but... Did he suffer? No, I don't think so. He was dead before we got to him. I got him from the RSPCA. They were gonna put him down. <laughs> he was the ugliest little thing you've ever seen. He looked so sad. It's like he knew he had no hope. What's going on? I'm gonna go home. Haven't you done enough already? I was only trying to apologise. Well, don't, OK? Just stay away. What have I done? I'm sorry? What have I done that's given you cause to continually attack me? Well, I could ask you the same question. Hey, Helene. Fine, thanks. Do uh, we know each other? No. Maybe we should. Uh, I think he's just giving her his phone number. What? Oh, well, he can't. She's my... No, oh, she's my... Editor? Hey. So what was all that about? What about? Oh, you and Sleaze bucket over there. It's not that bad. It's actually quite nice when you get to know him. Oh, how could you get to know him? You were only speaking to him for a couple of seconds. You know why he's flirting with you, don't you? To get back at me. I don't understand how is that getting back at you unless I like we're together. Yeah, well, no, but he is possibly assuming that we are. So just to give me the shits, he's flirting with you. He couldn't possibly be because he likes me. No. Oh, well, yeah. Which one is it? Okay, people. 
gone through and tallied up the score sheets. Who are the maggots? Hey! hey! Congratulations, boys. You've scored yourself a bottle of bubbly for coming last so First blush. Where's Liz? She left. She's still pretty shaken up about the cat. I know. I'm really wishing we didn't do what we did. You mean me? I think it's all my fault. Hey, I didn't say that. I'm just worried about her. First place, we have the John Howard Surf Team. Yeah. Yeah. And also in first place, <laughs> Masters of the Universe. Yes. Oh no, we tied with the enemy. Since we can only have the one winner, I'm going to call a golden question. Ooh. All right. Okay, come on, Adam. It's up to you. Let's do it. Oh, shit. Who am I? I was born in the Victorian town of Cobram on the 8th of October 1968. I'm a trained hairdresser by trade, but I am better known for running around a football paddock where I played 274 league games for Geelong. Now he asks the footy question. It's Gary Evans. It's not Gary Evans. Who do you think it is? I don't know, but it's not Gary Evans. It's on the tip of my tongue. Again. Come on, you trillion master. In the first quarter, I was kneed in the thigh by Johnny Warsfold. Warsfold, you are a dog! This one, I know it. Come and spit it out. It's, uh, Christian, who is it? Who is it? Christian, I've got Harvey's in the slab with you. Three quarters, one quarter. Yeah, OK, sure, whatever. Who is it? Buddha. I have recently been inducted into my club's Hall of Fame. My name is... Oh, it's Gary... Gary Hawking! <laughs> it is Gary Hawking! Yeah! Yeah! So that Adam guy and gave you his number? Mm-hmm. You gonna call him? I don't know. Why, would you have a problem if I did? No, why well, would I have a problem? You can call whoever you want. That's... Actually... So now that you've finished your book, when are you actually gonna deliver? I mean, how long does it take to do a cover sheet? Well, I'll worry if I deliver, I won't see you again. Well, it might be hard to justify. This is my tram. Bye, Evan. Come on, guys. Last chance for sunny side up. Oh, maybe another time, when I'm not feeling so old. Hey, I still wasn't having a go. Oh, no, you weren't. Have fun. Don't worry. I'm planning to. They've got this great DJ out from Israel. Jeff reckons he's the bomb. <laughs> I cannot believe you chose her over me as a flatmate. I love her. She's an angel. A little emissary of light. What does that make me, Darth Vader? dumped me. How can she dump you if you're not going out? It's that Adam prick. Bugger if I know what she sees in him. I mean, he, he's a slut. Well, you're both sluts, but uh, he can get away with it because he earns more money and he's way better looking. I don't think Jemima is remotely interested in Adam. What makes you say that? Have you spoken to her? Of course she'd like to, you goose. Blind Freddy could see that. Right, well, illuminate Blind Freddy as to why I she... I think she's waiting for something to happen. Something what? If you don't know, I'm not going to tell you. Yeah, well, if I knew, I wouldn't have to ask, Cal. 